the, done what you need. I'm just going to explain to you about how the cardiovascular system works. So if you'd like to stand over here with me. Here we've got a poster about the heart, uh, different components of the heart. Uh, first of all, the, blood, uh, the heart's main um, function is to pump the blood around the body, supplying the uh, body with the blood in order to live and be healthy. So, first of all, the um, blood, uh, the oxygenated blood, which is represented by the blue arrows, can uh, enter via the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava into the white atrium. And then, af after it's been transported into the right atrium, it travels down through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. Now, uh, around here, these are the muscle. It's a muscle and they pump the, uh, the blood through the ventricle, right ventricle, into the pulmonary valve, where it's therefore uh, transported through the pulmonary artery and into the lungs. And uh, when it's uh, pumped through the lungs, it becomes oxygenated and, they, and therefore transported loop back around through the pulmonary veins. And as you can see here, the Arrows are red, representing oxygenated blood. So as um, the blood is uh, transported through the pulmonary veins, it's uh, pumped into the left atrium, where it's therefore tra it travels through the bicuspid valve, which is here, into the left ventricle, and then again muscle pumping the blood through the uh, ventricle into through the aor aortic valve into the aorta, which is the main artery in our body, and then transport it through the rest of the body. Now, the purpose of the oxygen in the blood is to provide our vital organs and our limbs and muscles and um, most of our body with oxygen. We need oxygen to live. It's the um, most important chemical in our body. Now, the veins are, the, as I said, deoxygenated and they travel to the heart whereas um, to get oxygenated whereas the blood in the arteries travel away from the heart so um, now and then to actually um, for the oxygen to get to go from the veins in the, uh, the arteries to the organs to supply them with oxygen they diffuse through the um, through the the arteries into the organs uh, through the capillaries as well, which diffuse the blood. Um, now, there's a few purposes of blood uh, tra uh, transportation of oxygen, uh, fighting infections, blood clotting, uh, all sorts. Now, start off with transportation of oxygen and nutrients. Uh, well, as we breathe in, the oxygen um, goes through, down the larynx, our throat, into the lungs, where it's transported uh, along the uh, capillaries in our lungs, and then diffused into the blood stream. And then, uh, also, as uh, as the glucose in our blood reacts with the oxygen, it creates a chemical reaction creating CO2 and water and water is used for energy and the um, CO2 is then tra uh, transported to our blood to the lungs where we breathe the mouth the, the CO2 out um, when we to control our body temperature um, the body when we become too cold the blood vessels dilate no constrict sorry so it brings the blood closer to our, our core in our body, uh, keeping us warm, as, um, keeping the blood warm, so it doesn't freeze over and uh, we lose heat, uh, which could cause hypothermia, and that's called vasoconstriction. And now the opposite of that, which is called vasodilation, um, it's the complete opposite. The, uh, if we get warm, too warm, the blood vessels um, dilate. 
uh, bringing the blood closer to our body where we then lose, are able to lose heat from sweat. Uh, then if we are cut in our body, if um, we will obviously start to bleed. And then to, the body's way of um, fighting this is to send platelets to the open wound to clog up the uh, cut. So um, to prevent two things, first of which is to prevent blood loss and the second is to stop infection, any uh, bacteria entering our bloodstream and uh, harming our body. And if this does happen, then the body, body's immune system reacts by sending antibodies, also known as uh, lymph, lymph, lymphocytes. And they, the lymphocytes send uh, what are called cytokines, and they are used to kill any um, foreign bodies in the body. And by, by using a lethal chemical, uh, that's lethal to the uh, bacteria and not our bodies. Right. That's how the va a cardiovascular system works. And, well, thanks for training. Thank you.